Fighting the insanity of our secular culture and its stronghold on the Church of Nice can be exhausting. That's why from February 8th through the 15th, we're hosting our third annual Retreat at Sea. Join Michael Voris and nearly 200 faithful Catholics who have already signed up and spiritually recharge while learning about the faith. I'll be more motivated to um, share the truth to other people when I go back home. I'm charged, I'm pumped. So click the link, register today, and help us prepare an authentic Catholic uprising. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Pearson. Christine Niles is off today. Today is Tuesday, November 4th, 2014. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Glaring errors in the English translation of the Synod's final relatio are coming to light after its delayed release. The document is plagued with more than just translation problems. In some cases, it's missing entire clauses that change the meaning of the sentence. Even supposedly simple tasks like numbering paragraphs have also been botched, making referencing the document very difficult. The English translations are notorious for bad or even doctored translations, and often with a leftward slant. Father Thomas Rosica is the head of English translation for the Holy See and also the CEO of Salt and Light Television. Please see our resource page for his contact information. The UK is on the brink of banning sex-selective abortions. A recent poll shows the majority of UK citizens reject gender-selective abortions, and this week Parliament is expected to pass a law banning it. The secular paper, The Telegraph, conducted an undercover investigation in 2012 that exposed two abortionists who agreed to kill unborn babies simply because they were girls. Sex-selective abortions are a major problem in countries like China and India, where girls are overwhelmingly chosen to be killed, resulting in a massive imbalance in the male-to-female ratio. Pope Francis is preaching Christian life is a constant warfare with the devil. Francis declared, quote, This generation made people think the devil was a myth, an idea. The devil exists and we have to fight against him. Referencing chapter 6 of Ephesians, the Pope added, quote, You cannot think of a spiritual life, a Christian life, without fighting against the devil, without putting on the armor of God who gives us strength and defends us. Discussions of the devil has become a constant theme in the Francis Papacy. The Vatican will host an international conference defending traditional marriage later this month. The meeting will, quote, examine and propose anew the beauty of the relationship between the man and the woman in order to support and reinvigorate marriage and family life for the flourishing of human society. It will host speakers from all over the world representing various religious traditions of marriage. The conference comes as the initiative of Cardinal Muller, head of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, and will be opened by Pope Francis. A dissident priest has been blocked from speaking on church property after protests from the faithful. Last week, we ran a story on Father Tony Flannery, a known dissenter banned by the Vatican from public ministry. He was set to speak at a Catholic church in Minneapolis and we encourage viewers to call the diocese and voice their concerns. Archbishop Neinstead spoke to the church pastor and instructed him to avoid scandal and move the event off church property. While not perfect, this is progress. Thank you to all those who contacted the diocese, and may God bless Archbishop Neinstead for his faithfulness. We encourage our viewers to send some kind words to the Archbishop, expressing your gratitude. I'm Matthew Pearson. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Be sure to check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about politics and how they are never what they appear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share churchmilitant.tv news with your friends and family. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you. Hello everyone, Michael Voris here from churchmilitant.tv. Bishop Daniel Jenke of Peoria, Illinois has said, quote, we can no longer be Catholics by accident,
but must be Catholics by conviction. Amen to him. The bishop is dead on. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about on Saturday, November 8th in Toronto, Canada. The event is called The Future of Catholicism and it's being hosted by the terrific apostolate Catholic Chapter House. I'll be joined by Tim Haynes, host of the hardest hitting Catholic podcast on the internet. We'll both be giving two talks each about the crisis in the church as well as the new evangelization. So come and enjoy the fellowship of hundreds of like-minded Catholics at this all-day event, which includes the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass and the Rosary. You'll also have the opportunity to engage with many outstanding Catholic organizations who will be present there as well. You can learn more or register today at catholicchapterhouse.com. You can see it right there on the screen. So we will see you in Toronto at the beginning of November. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.